Uh, taking a look at this example, we want to do the same thing, uh, kind of thing. We know that the, uh, the two angles C and B are going to have to be the same because they're across from a side that's the same. So here, this side is 16, and it's across from angle B. This side's also 16, across from angle C. So angles B and C have to be the same. They have to be the same measurement. But how can I find that if I only have one other angle? Well, let's think about this for a second. I once again know that the three angles inside a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So let's kind of see what we're working with. Right now I have a 26-degree uh, a angle. So if I take the 180 minus the 26, let's see how many degrees I still need between those two missing angles. And so I subtract this. That gives me a 154. That means that these two angles down here have to add up to 154 degrees in order for me to get the 180. And they have to be the same, which means I have to split up that 154 degrees evenly. It's just a matter of dividing this by 2 then. Okay, so I'm going to divide that by 2, and that gives me a uh, 77 degrees, which means each of these angles has to be 77 degrees. And it's really easy now if I write that down and I check it, I can just add these all together on my calculator, 77 plus 77 plus the uh, 26, and it does give me the 180, all right? And so the idea here is that I don't necessarily need to have two out of the three angles if I know that two of the angles or some of the angles are the same, okay? And so this one, the measurement of angle uh, B was 77 degrees. And of course, the measurement of angle C has to be the same, so it's also 77 degrees, okay? But it's still that idea of, hey, the three angles have to add up to 180, all right? And so really, I'm just subtracting from 80 and say, okay, this is how many degrees I need, and they need to be split evenly amongst those two angles because they're the same. Uh, this guy, same kind of thing. As I look at this thing, once again, I see that four feet and the four feet. So this guy is across from this angle, angle B, and this four feet is across from this angle, angle A. And since those side measure measurements are the same, the angles across from those sides have to be the same. So now I know that A and B have to have the same measurement. The question is what that measurement is going to be. And so as I look at this thing, I have a 90 degree angle in here as indicated by the little box that's here. So let's see what I'm working with. The three angles have to add up to 180 degrees. So let's see what I have left. So if I do the 180 minus the 90 degree angle that I already have, that leaves me with 90 degrees, which means these two angles right here, A and B, they have to add up to 90 degrees. And since they have to be the same, those 90 degrees have to be split evenly amongst them. So I'm going to divide by 2, and that gives me 45 degrees. And so if I want to split up that 90 degrees evenly, it means that each of these has to be a 45 degree angle. So this is 45 degrees, this is 45 degrees, and now I have the two angles uh, that are the same. Uh, they have to be the same, but now these three angles all together add up to 180. Okay? So the measure of angle A is uh, 45 degrees, and the measure of angle B is also 45 degrees, okay? So it's all about just looking at this thing and identifying, okay, which angles have to be the same, and then using the idea that, hey, these add up to, the three angles inside a triangle add up to 180, and then kind of narrowing it down, all right? If I have one of the angles that's the same, I can automatically label the other angle, all right? But if I only have one of the angles, well, and I know the other two have to be split evenly, it's just a matter of subtracting from 180 and dividing by 2, okay?